Welcome to the video, today I'm going to show you how I can view your clipboard history like this in Windows 10. Ok so in order to activate the clipboard, all you need to do is go ahead and click on your Windows icon in the bottom left and go ahead and click on the settings icon. Which here is going to bring up the settings window, you want to go ahead and click on system, then you want to go ahead and click on clipboard in the menu, and then you want to make sure that clipboard history is turned on. You can also go ahead and edit a few other settings here while you're at it. Now once the clipboard is activated, you then go ahead and click on the Windows icon plus V and it's going to bring up the clipboard history in the bottom right hand corner. Now for you it's going to be empty, but as you can see I've got a list of text that I've copied and it's also left a nice timestamp so I'll know when the piece of text was copied. Now the good thing about it is that this list will keep going on and on forever until it's cleared and the only way it's going to be cleared is either when you've restarted your computer or you've clicked this clear all button here or you can manually remove each one by clicking this X. Now if you want to keep a copied piece of text forever, all you need to do is go ahead and click on this uh, pin icon, and then when you click on it, it will look like this, and that's basically going to make sure that that piece of text cannot be deleted unless you manually do so. Now the good thing about it is that if I click somewhere uh, where I can't paste any text, it will come up in the bottom right hand corner. But if I bring up a notepad or somewhere where I can type, and then I go ahead and bring up the clipboard, it's going to bring it up just below the, the part where I'm going to type. And then I can go ahead and click on somewhere um, where I've pasted it, and it's going to go ahead and paste the text. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day.